If you want to save the recital, you need to crank things up. You need to learn how to be a good communicator, how to be by yourself on stage. You need to acquire stagecraft. You need to understand your own body language and shape it, just like you're learning how to sing. It's part of the job. And the good news is that if you master it, it will make your job easier. Bring the two together. It's not going to happen on its own. Trust me. As a performance coach, all I can do is plant the seed and give you pointers so that eventually you can become your own director for your recitals. There's a method to it. I call it the ease and guard method. One, trust the music and follow the lyrics. The music and the lyrics tell you everything you need to know. Pay close attention. The lyrics tell you what to do, but the music tells you how to do it. Translate it into your body and into your voice and bring the two together. Two, less is more. Most of you do too much on stage, but what you do is not specific enough. Make specific decisions and stick to them. Finish every movement you make. Three, trust yourself. Be confident. There's nothing worse for the audience than to feel anxious about a singer. Own up to your decisions. Four, the stage is your home. Make us feel that it is your home. And not every stage is the same. Acquaint yourself with the space and adjust your performance to the size. Five, know thy stage self, which is not the same as your backstage self. It's a creation. The way you walk on, the way you walk off, how you behave and communicate with the audience in between your arias and art songs, how you communicate with your musician, it's a creation. Six, if it's perfect, change it. It's not meant to be perfect. It's meant to be alive. Have no fear to be in the moment and react to the moment. Address any elephants in the room immediately. Seven, surprise us every now and then. Surprise yourself as well. You cannot pre-plan everything. You need to be playful. That's the thing I most often tell my singers. Be more playful. Explore, carve out the details and play with them so we can watch you be playful and bask in the glory of being in the here and now, which is what artists do. Eight, be humble. It's not about you. It's about the art form. A performance is a generous offering to the audience. Let the music pass through you and offer it to us. It's not about your emotions. You are not the emotion. You are the creator, the interpreter of the emotion. You are sending it to us so that we can feel it. If you can do that, then you can be proud of your achievement but it's not really about you or your feelings. It's about your artistry. Nine, never give 100%. You have to keep a little spark for yourself, which you need to ignite the fire for the next time. You have to have a little bit of a reserve, not just for the vocal technique, but for your physicality as well. Don't throw everything out. 
Because that's like bulimia. Things need to be somewhat controlled. We need to feel that you keep everything in your hand. And it's up to you when you let something go or when you hold it tight. Create a dynamic between the two. The dynamics of a performance are very important. Things have to always move. Sometimes you have to send things out and sometimes you have to allow for us to witness you as it comes to you from within. I often talk about the hard focus when you look at something or someone or the soft focus when you are looking within. There always has to be a dynamic between the two so we never get bored. Ten. Have fun. Connect to the joy of doing what you do. It's very important to never, never lose the joy. Remember why you wanted to do this in the first place. Don't let technique and anxiety about technique take over. Connect to the joy of music and allow mistakes to happen. It's a part of life and we learn more from our mistakes than from anything else. And if we recover from them in real time, in front of the audience, they will love you for it. Trust me. Now go out there and save the recital.